Can you describe St. Bonaventure in one word? Great. It would be community. Fun. Oh. Oh. Alive. That would be spirituality. I'd say enigmatic. Great wisdom. He's charity. Or, no, actually loving. That's it. Say, I'm not sure. All over. One word is love. His notion that God, God's love, is, uh, or God, the creation is a product of God's love, and our only appropriate response is to return that love uh, back to God. Um, and for me, that fits in with my life of what are we supposed to do with our time here? How are we supposed to live? Um, it's not so much about things that we are to do, but I think it's about things and people and places that we are to love and <clears throat> return back to God. St. Bonaventure was born in 1221 in the town of Bagna Regio, Italy, and given the name Giovanni di Vadanza. As a child, Bonaventure was deathly ill. Out of desperation, his mother prayed to the recently canonized St. Francis. Suddenly, Bonaventure was cured. Inspired by his healing, Bonaventure entered the Franciscan Order in 1243. I've been reading the works of St. Bonaventure for about the last 30 years. I'm very much captivated by his uh, spiritual vision, uh, his wisdom, and his understanding of what it means to be human, uh, how he sees in the person of St. Francis a model of what it means to become a more human person through imitating Christ and developing certain virtues in our life. If it wasn't for people like Bonaventure, we would have lost Francis to time. Uh, what Bonaventure did was he was able to systematize the spirituality of St. Francis. He captured the richness of St. Francis and put it in a conversation, or put it in a language, excuse me, um, where we can dive deeper into the reality of it. Bonaventure began studying at the University of Paris in 1243 and helped the Franciscan chair in 1257. Bonaventure's three most famous writings include The Soul's Journey into God, The Tree of Life, and The Life of St. Francis. The spirit of St. Francis and the scriptures can be seen as major impacts on Bonaventure's theology and teachings. Bonaventure thought of Christ as the one true master who offers humans knowledge that begins in faith, is developed through understanding, and is perfected by union with God. He helped steer the Franciscan order on a more moderate and intellectual course different sort of thinker. Like in his time he got a lot of flack because he was definitely a student and very intelligent and cerebral. Um, so there's a story of, I believe, yeah, I believe it was him and he was riding into Assisi because he wanted to get in touch with when he found out he was going to be the min minister general with the Franciscans. He wanted to get in touch with those roots. St. Bonaventure became a very distinguished person in the Franciscan order since he served as the minister general the successor to St. Francis, the leader of the order for many years. He also became a cardinal of the church, and it was precisely because of his wisdom, his theological vision of the church made him a cardinal and asked him to bring um, the church in the East, East and the West together at the Council of Lyon. St. Bonaventure died at the age of 53. In 1482, Bonaventure was canonized and is known as the Seraphic Doctor. His feast day is celebrated on July 14th. The man. Because, 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 the man. That's what I know for sure. St. Francis was a Franciscan uh, friar. He started the Franciscan friarship. Sweet. Ready? <laughs> what have you learned about St. Bonaventure? <laughs> I'm filming, but just go for it. Honestly, just take your time. Take your time. Like, think about it. What? Shave November. What would Bonaventure do? Be prayerful. Be holy. <laughs> Maybe not that. Founded the school, yeah. Yeah. No. You did found the school. You founded. Oh, that's bad. Philosophy no, class. We, we studied philosophy. Or we studied... I just recently heard, you know, a little birdie came from the sky. You know the birds that talk to Francis? 
First group bunk that said that. I like the Franciscan values. I really do. Like coming here and learning about them, like just really gave me a deeper appreciation for uh, like when I do community service, the warming house. I went there yesterday, and um, I, I stayed for hours there. You know, and I, was, I had a conversation with this dude, and he was just telling me like you know how he worked. Um, he used to be in the army, and when he came back, uh, the country didn't help him, you know, and like he didn't have nothing. He got kicked out of his apartment and everything and he's living on the street but he says the only thing that's keeping him going is God and I was like that's deep that's deep so uh yeah every day you know just learning something new I'm in cat frame right now just learning anything new about uh Bonaventure or Francis just makes me appreciate Franciscan values Bonaventure is the man come to the school you know putting this on the website and you are not in college yet come to this school it's a real good school it'll make you you know question the light and turn you into a better person like it has done to me. Go bombs.